This is our first year. This is actually our inaugural season. Nobody else really doing it. There's a few drone racing leagues that are more like just racing, but we are we believe we're the only one that has kids actually engineer and design in their own drone. So they actually have to manufacture the frame. Most of them are using a 3D printing technology and 3D printing the frame, but they can do anything they want. They can make it out of paper, they can make it out of aluminum, whatever they think will work. Uh, we have eight teams this year, mostly here from Ohio. I mentioned we have one team in Michigan. Teams are three to six students, and then each team has a role, each team member. So we have a project manager, a team manager, a graphic designer, engineering. So what happens here is you have one drone against another. They have two minutes to go through the gates you'll see behind me as quickly as possible, right? So they want to get as many laps as they can. If they miss a gate, they have to either go back or just not count that lap. Everybody's been super excited about it. I've been doing robotic competitions and engineering competitions since 1996. And this is the first time we've had one launched this quickly or with this much excitement. It's fairly new on the scene. Uh, drones were kind of expensive, and so schools didn't really get involved with it. But about probably three or four years ago, a thing called a Tiny Whoop was invented, which is the drones you'll see flying behind us here. And they're real small, so they're only about three inches square, uh, which means they're a little safer for schools to deal with. They've also, the cost has come way down. So what we did is we kind of saw the drone racing as a great way to engage kids in a different way of doing engineering and, and technical work. So what we're looking at now is uh, going nationally with this next year. We actually have a team in uh, Phoenix that's looking to launch. We are talking to a team in Massachusetts and we have a team in Michigan. Uh, we'd like to have regional and state races and then have a national race, very similar to the VEX robotics model that they've used. <laughs>